Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to the Fantasy Forecast for Tuesday, March 15th, 2016. Um, we're going to jump right into optimals here. If you guys are interested in the results from yesterday, real brief, it lost. Um, many of the high dollar players did not perform as expected, and you only needed to grab a couple of them to really make your line off pay off, in particular Westbrook. If you had Westbrook last night in your lineup, you... As long as your other choices were somewhat solid, you did okay. Um, so I'll just flat out say it's a loss. If you want the exact results, go ahead and just, you know, send me a tweet or leave a comment in the video and I'll get them over to you. Um, moving on. I'll, I'll probably going to show them in a second anyways because it's going to be relevant to today's contest betting strategy. We have a five-game slate today. And the contests you guys choose to enter are going to determine if you win or not because some contests have higher you know lines to cash and others have lower um, let's just start here with the optimal lineups though from roto grinder roto grinders optimal lineup for today which is projected at 301 you have rondo and watson in the point guard you have oladipo and clarkson in the shot guard george and gay at small forward Randall and Jerebko at power forward, and Cousins at center. Guys, I might fuck these guys' names up. I apologize. <laughs> it's so hard to pronunciate 1,200 different guys' names in the NBA. I'm sorry. Um, I think you guys know who I'm talking about, though, so maybe just laugh off how bad I mangle these guys' names, all right? So moving on. Let's get to Roto Wire. Again, this was projected 301 from Roto Grinders. Roto Wire has Rondo and Smith at the point guard, Ellis and Bryant at the shot guard, George and Gay at small forward, Aldridge and Noel at power forward, and Biombo at center. Go ahead and take a look at that one. This is being projected at 296. Okay, moving on. I went ahead and did a Fantasy Pros lineup for today, guys. Uh, I normally don't include them because I don't like their choices so much, but when I saw the lineup they pulled, I was uh, intrigued. They have Lowry and Smith in the point guard position, Stucky and Bryant at the shot guard. You have to watch the Bryant news. I mean, honestly, I really wouldn't be touching Bryant today because I don't think we're going to get news on if he plays or not until right before lock, and he played yesterday. And I don't see him looking at, oh, I'm going to play Rajon Rondo and, and Darren Collison today as a really huge matchup. You know, maybe Cousins that he wants to try to go against, but he's not going to be drawing the defense from Cousins and everything else. I, I'm steering away from Kobe today, but this is what Fantasy Pros has put out. And if Kobe does play, he's probably the best play on the Lakers, to be honest, guys. I will say that. Because if Kobe plays, he's going to impact the usage of every other player. Collison, or, well, not, no, not Collison, but on the Lakers' side. Huertas might still see his minutes pretty cheap at 3,800 on point guard. But Clarkson is going to get hurt. Randall is going to get hurt. Uh, your main Laker players around that mid-tier level are all going to lose minutes if this is what happens. So, just watch that. Uh, at small forward, we have George and Gay. At power forward, we have Ferriot and Johnson. And at center, we have Cousins. And Fantasy Pros projects this at 279. Not very high, but they go off seasons, like I said. Moving on. Let's look at Daily Fantasy Cafe. They did the best today yesterday, guys. Um, their entry would have won cash and GPPs because it was such a strange day. I believe they were close to 300. Um, today. Today, Daily Fantasy Cafe has Rondo and Smart at the point guard. Bradley and Clarkson at the shot guard. Like I've said, watch those Lager players, guys. you got to be careful. Turner and George in the small forward. Landry and Noel in the power forward. Landry is the reason why that punt play is going to be all over the place today, not just there, but in other optimals, is because at 4,400, the guy is going to pull a full run of minutes now with Jeremiah Grant, Covington, and Richard Holmes all out for Philly. They got destroyed when Grant and Covington smashed into each other at the end of the fourth quarter a couple games ago, and it's looking like the fourth game they're going to miss. I mean, it's it was an ugly collision. Anyways, but that opens up Landry for us. 
Um, he was a 3,500 pick. He's moved up as FanDuel's recognizing, but that's probably still too cheap. Noel, on the other hand, is in a wonderful spot against the Nets. Just, you want to play Nets players, and guys, if you look at the scoring today, Sacramento is going to be one of the highest scoring games, and the Denver-Orlando um, game is projected to be one of the highest scoring. My cash line up coming up, you're going to see that I focus a little bit more on that. I read more into these projections, and I kind of focus on game flow, what actual defender these guys are going to be playing against, and I mean, Cousins is clearly the good choice at center tonight. He'll give you the most raw points. But we don't know if that's going to be the best in terms of actual value. I mean, how much you paid versus what you get out of it. You pay $11,000 for Cousins and you want six times value, you're going to need 66 points for him tonight. It's possible against the Lakers, and actually I kind of like it more than other plays, but if you're, it's a tall order. Okay, so let's move on here. And this last one is the one you guys all have enjoyed mostly. This is Roto QL. Roto QL has Thomas and Huertas in the point guard position. And the interesting thing, I'll just talk about Huertas real fast there at point guard. He's a great small choice there, guys, because even with Kobe playing yesterday, you guys can see he got almost a full run of minutes. It seems like Clarkson and Russell... Um, Randall, those guys are getting hurt by the Kobe minutes and not worthless. So you, you can still look at that even worried about Kobe playing because he's so cheap. Um, you have Middleton and Harris at the shot guard. You have Alphabet and Hollis. Wait, why is that Hollis Jefferson? And it says he's out there. That's not correct. Sorry, guys. It's Hollis Thompson. Save. They have Hollis Thompson in there for their small forward along with um, the alphabet, the Greek Freak. Greek Freak could do great tonight, but he's rangy in my opinion, especially against Toronto. Again, like I said before, the numbers come up with him like 35 through 70. So he could do you really well, but he could just give you 45 at that 9900, and you guys won't be happy with 45 off a of 9900. I'm telling you now. All right, um, Thompson... Good position against Philly, like I said, with all the injuries ravaging them. He's looking at a start tonight, so you've got the minutes. Sullinger, ever since coming back from his skin infection or whatever, the last game he put up, he balled. And he's up against the Pacers, and the game isn't one of the lower scoring ones. So if you think Sullinger can pull the root of the scoring, I'm projecting him at 34. There is another choice here. You can look at Aaron Gordon. I don't have the $100 to spend with him, but Aaron Gordon on that horrible Denver team and Orlando being a little hurt on injuries, he should pay off well. Thad Young should also pay off well as well against the Phillies. Both of those should be options you're looking at along with Noel. Power forward's kind of loaded today, guys. Um, going down here, I went with Aldridge, even though I think the game might be something of a blowout. What you can see, though, guys, is that, you know, even in blowouts, someone has to put those points down for them to get to 100 points, and the most likely candidates on the Spurs are going to be Aldridge and Leonard. Now, they're both somewhat similarly priced, but I like the raw points Aldridge is going to give me at 40 there compared to anyone else, so I just ran with it. Um, is this mine? Oh, no, this is RotoQL. I, I apologize. Um, yeah, so RotoQL chose Aldridge. And then they have Jokic at the center. And they were thinking the same thing I was thinking, which is that while your two best center choices might be Cousins and Lopez, Cousins in that spot against the Lakers and with the game put up yesterday, and Lopez against the Sixers, they really can't handle a big man with all their injuries. So both of those are the better choices. But Jokic against Orlando, which is also injury hurting, probably be number three if you need to save some cash. Okay, so that was Roto QL. Now let's move back out of here. And let's look at my recommended cash lineup for today. My recommended cash lineup for today is Rondo and Collison in the point guard. Okay, yeah, you have two point guards for the same team. Why? I'll tell you guys why. Look at their opponent. Their opponent is the Lakers. 
If you guys look at VegasInsider.com, and that's normally your best bet to pull offshore lines uh, on Vegas, and on, you know, they'll show Vegas odds for the casinos, but it's free. You go to VegasInsider.com and you look up what the highest scoring games are. Higher scoring games in fantasy always lead to more fantasy production, because it's not just the points. Fantasy points are only loosely based on the score. If a team goes 120-120, there are more rebounds in the game, there are more assists in the game, there are more blocks, there are more steals. All fantasy production increases in higher scoring games. So I like to aim for those on a cash entry because, heck, we're trying to win cash. So I have Rondo and Collis in there dealing with those Laker injuries. Hopefully Kobe isn't out and bada bing bada bam. And at the bottom there you have Cousins for a triple stack on Sacramento. And it comes down to... Who in the hell can the Lakers really stop in terms of a big man? If someone did get their hands in Cousins' face somehow before he drives in for a layup, he's going to pass the goddamn ball out because he's got the skills, and there go Collison and Rondo, whoever happens to be in. Both should do well tonight. All right, moving on. The Denver-Orlando game is the second highest scoring game. Instead of 220, it's at 215. Everything else is around the 205 mark, and there's even one below 200. So I'm going to load up on players from those high-scoring teams, and then, you know, the rest of it, I'll just kind of pick around to make sure it works. So I have Depot against Denver. They're hurting after losing a player over there, too. So Depot's going to get more time. Uh, you have Harris against Orlando. Uh, again, we're looking at the high-scoring game there, guys, and that both teams are just going to put up a little more than usual. Hollis Thompson against the Nets. Since he's supposed to get the start today, and he's still at 4000 I think it's a relatively cheap price to nab your 30 points and just anchor your lineup to get these bigger-priced guys in. Uh, you have your starting minutes. That's what you need from a value pick. You have Fournier. Again, this is taking advantage of the Orlando injuries. It's actually an Orlando triple stack, hoping that Depot, Fournier, and Gordon all get extra time and extra minutes and extra production off of the injury. Same, uh, and... So it's actually a Sacramento Orlando triple stack. And you got Depot and you got Harris at shot guard. You got Thompson and Fournier at small forward. You have Thad Young and Gordon at power forward and Cousins at center. And briefly, I mentioned um, playing against the Lakers um, with the high scoring game. So that's the Rondo and Collison news there. Um, Depot and Harris, again, it's teams without much defense and high scoring. So I'm just aiming for those type of players that can probably exceed their average scores today. Thompson is definitely going to exceed his average at $4,000. He's just been moving up slightly, but surely I think it was $3,800 last time. But as long as he's a starter, he's going to get plenty of time and wildly exceed that value. Fournier on the high-scoring game with Denver Orlando and the injury, so hopefully he picks up more. Thad Young, beautiful spot against the Sixers. Gotta, gotta love it. Same thing with Gordon in a lot of ways. Gordon is playing those Nuggets, and you got the high-scoring game. And then filing it off with Cousins down there. Best center choice on the board in terms of raw points. Even if he only gave me 60, I'd be happy because I was able to make the raw points fit. Okay, guys. So this is your cash lineup for today. Real fast, let me give you some contest entering advice for today. We're going to head over to the main entries. Now, in tournaments, which is what you guys normally do, you have the $1 SWAT. And if you look at the prize structure, you know, it's pretty goddamn decent. Um, I don't know what top prize pays. is probably like eight grand or something like that. Ten grand, even better. All right, so if you can nail the SWAT, wonderful. But notice on the games. We have a six-game slate. It's right on that borderline where, you know... A 50-50 could possibly have a lower line, or a GPP could have a lower line. On big slates like last night, guys, there's no question. A cash line, a 50-50 line, or a double-up line was going to win. And I'll prove it to you right now in recent settled entries from yesterday. So yesterday, you can see I did a 267 on my ideal cash. And that 267 really didn't pay off too goddamn well, did it? 51 out of 50. One more spot up and it would have paid. One more spot. I only need like 267, 268. But if you head over to the double up itself, look at the double up line. The big double up line, you need 273. I was six points out of that one. And start moving into the SWAT on a nine point. 
Let's see what the SWAT's winning line was. SWAT's winning line was 280.4. And same when you go into the shot, it's probably even slightly higher. The, the more it costs, it's a little bit higher generally. So that was 280.4. This is 280.9, just a touch more. And you'll notice that these similarities occur often. I mean, it was a smaller slate last night, so the GPP line, SWAT and shot 280, is generally pretty damn close to that 268.9 needed to cash on just the cheapest way you could play. All entries, what was this one? You needed 272. 272 is like remarkably close to the full-on double up line, so why give up the 50 cents? Anyways, the point here is that on short slates, guys, so many people enter lottery tickets on the $1 SWAT trying to hit the very top that there's a lot of lineups at the bottom that cushion your score. To only win 280 on a GPP, guys, you already know. Even on a slate like last night, a nine-game slate, it was definitely possible to win, even if you had a couple stinkers. It's just... And then moving on. That was a nine-game slate. But if we go back even farther to like a, to a cheaper slate, like a four-game slate, here we go. This 301.4... This 301.4 was barely enough to cash the shot, the $2 one. This is a smaller slate, guys. 301 was enough. You needed 297 to cash, so about four points in. Same with the $1 GPP. But let's check out what those other ones did. Here's just a mini dribble. you think it would be easier to hit. Nope. Not happening. 316. That's a pretty goddamn high score in a night win. 270 was cashing. Same dates. So you can see on the big slates, guys, you're going to want to aim for 50-50 games and double up games because they're going to give you the highest chance to win. If you're gaming for the big money, fine, but hedge your bet. Put a dollar in that big one, two dollars in that big one, and then do another dollar or two dollars you know, on 50-50 bets or on double up bets. So you have a decent chance to win your money back. It makes sense. Especially on a six game slate here. You are like this was only a four game, but when you come up onto these six game slates, you're gonna meet there's gonna be a lot more options to play with. So you're gonna have to like Make a decision today. Do you want to do some 50-50 backups, or do you want to just go flat out with, you know, I, I want to just do some $1 GPPs, and hopefully the line is somewhat low. You can take your pick either way, guys. On a night like tonight, though, I would recommend hedging. Anytime you get to six games or more, I hedge. If it's five games or less, I tend to aim for the 50, you know, just do multiple entries in the $1 shot, because it tends to have the lowest line to cash. I'm looking for the lowest cashing line, guys, and so should you guys, because we all want to win. And it's pretty damn hard to win the free roll when the scores on those things are, what, 350 last night or something insane? What did the free roll come out at? I have no clue, but it, I mean, I would mentioned 318 on a mini dribbler. Let's see what the free roll actually paid at. 349, guys. You tell me. What's easier to hit? So anyways, be very smart with your contest choices today. I would recommend hedging as well if you're going to go ahead and play in that shot. Other than that, you guys are all pretty much set for today. Again, here is your recommended cash lineup for today. It's Rondo and Collison at point guard, Depot and Harris at shot guard, Thompson and Fournier at small forward, Young and Gordon at power forward, and Cousins for the center. All right, guys, please go ahead and um, tweet me on uh, Twitter at MikeMiller78 if you have any lined-up questions, you know, you want some advice. I'm happy to help anyone that sends me messages. You can just tweet it or you can send a direct message if you know how to do that inside the Twitter app. Either one is fine. And definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. I try to put out a video for you guys every single day and make sure you guys are updated as to what's going on. I'm here for you guys, man. Uh, really, I want all of you guys to win. It's possible for us all to win if we're smart. There are enough stupid players out there that don't pay attention, don't research, where we can come out ahead the majority of nights. So keep watching, guys. Subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, go on out there and go win some money, guys. Good luck.